Hello and welcome to Turbo Thumbs. I'm Rasta Joe and with me today is Pat. And you can check him out on his channel, One Bad Goat. Today, in case you didn't hear about it on Facebook and Twitter, is our first episode of Thumb Through. And we are playing Star Fox Zero. We're going to be using the Amiibo today. See what effects they have in the game. Let's check it out. So first let's check out the Amiibo. We'll start with Falco. That gives us the black R-Wing. Double the damage, but also you take double the damage. Uh, first level we're going to do is Corneria. Hub of Galactic Peace. Yeah, and this game is kind of a remake of Star Fox 64. Oh, they're talking, hang on. Star Fox, do you read me? We're under attack from Andros's army. We need your help immediately. We'll take the job. Andros won't be getting his way this time. All right, tell me what you think he's about to say. Listen. Good luck? That's what I think. It sounds like good luck. That's what it's, I always it's very. Pretty jumbled though. Yeah, there's kind of like an extra like reverberation in there. Have you looked up to see what other people think you think that, that he says? Cornaria's orbit. Online, a lot of people seem to think it says good luck. That would make sense before you start your mission, good luck. Right. They wanted to be all like distorted. I have no idea. It would make it easier to hear. Uh, this definitely brings me back to M64 days, but with way better graphics. Yeah. So in this one, you use the gamepad a lot to do the cockpit view. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah, be, see. I'm gonna be switching it to the TV so that we can all see. Check your G diffuser system. Also, when you switch, it goes, it shows you the full. Uh, okay. It just switches the screens, yeah. That's pretty cool. So you don't have to be staring at the TV the whole time. Right, like, I could have the TV off and still be playing just on this. Now, if you were playing with somebody else and they had another one of these, they could only see what's on their screen. They wouldn't be able to see. Well, it's weird. They. The Wii U doesn't support two gamepads at once. Okay. Only one at a time. Which All right, boys. But I would find Let's a way to make you be able to play. Because you know when you used to play old games and everybody would be staring at TV, like, for instance, uh, Battlefield or something like that. Everybody could see where you are. I think having this would kind of, like, only be able to show where you are and not where your enemies are. Like, if you're playing this, I guess it'd be different. But I'm sure soon they'll come up with an idea that... You can use more than one go pad. Probably for the next system, I think. Uh, the NX is the next one to come out. This one's been out for several years now, so it's kind of getting towards the end of its life. I think so, it's time for a new one. At this point, they're probably not going to do much new with it. But on the next system, the NX, I assume it's going to support the gamepad, so hopefully it'll support more than that one. That would be awesome. I mean, this one still supports the Wii controllers, so it only makes sense. We're entering right. Corneria City now. now. How long does it take to get through this level? Uh, this one I think it was about 11 minutes or so. Transform yet? This is the first time I'm seeing this since I mean, since we had 64 days, and I just. It, for someone who hasn't played in forever, I'd say, it's, well, it's pretty damn good, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean all the <laughs> everything on Wii U pretty much is HD now, so... We actually play other games, but like now you're going back to the old style games. From what I remember from being a kid, this just... This is awesome. I like these purple lasers. I haven't actually used the red and black R-Wing yet. This is pretty different. cool. Uh, it takes double damage and does oh, double damage. Oh, you did yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's good with the bad. Yeah. What are the other ways to do? And with the, with the gamepad, it has motion sensors inside, so I can aim around. Oh, just by controlling that? Yeah, just by Jeez. pointing the gamepad around. More interactive now. You yeah, it play with a toggle stick and... <laughs> yes, it, and it makes for a much different experience than Star Fox 64 was. Like, this is basically the same first level that Star Fox 64 had, 
but with this gameplay mechanic added in, it's way different. That's really cool. Like, kind of yeah, yeah. Learned a little bit it here. It kind of forces you to have to move around instead of just you know sitting in one spot on the couch and moving your thumb. Right. You know, seems you're moving your thumb a whole lot. <laughs> Yeah, the, the controls are a lot different too, um, like fire's not A in this one, it's uh, one of the shoulder buttons in the back. So like the trigger? Yeah, one of the triggers. And one of the things I don't like though is with aiming like this with the thing, it, it kind of gets confused, so like it'll be pointing way off to the side, but they give you the option to reset it back to center just by hitting one button. That's a great idea, because I can so, see how that would be annoying if you, you know, you get into the gameplay and, you know, you ever play uh, any kind of game or like a fighting game, you hit the button, you're hitting it so hard, your hand's moving to the left and you don't even realize it. Right. But something like this that's motion control, it's nice to have that option to center it back so you don't have to figure out where you are exactly and that would take longer. Kind of intense. Yeah, this this area is where the boss battle is going to take place, and you'll see from Star Fox 64, it's a completely different boss. One more good point boost. There we go. Another cool thing about the gamepad is during the cutscenes, most of them anyway, uh, the the game will keep going on the on the pad. So if you've already seen the cutscene a million times, you don't have to watch it again. Like right now, skip it. yeah, you can oh, so see that I can still here. I can oh, still look okay. around and keep shooting while it's going on in the background. Yeah. And sometimes when you're flying over like ground stuff, it's a lot easier to switch to this view. To see what you're doing yeah, instead of being so far back. Right. And you'll see with some of the later bosses, like you pretty much have to uh, so switch, switch to this screen. Yeah. I can just see from you playing now that it just it seems easier, especially as you said when you're lower. You yeah. Just, like switch out now, you'll see. Right. Yeah, I mean, you can still see it, but it's not, you're not as direct. Like, now, now you can see your targets a lot easier and oh, yeah. easier to take care of. The first time I played this level, I didn't use that at all. Took a lot longer. And, yeah, dude, trying to kill those, those walker guys. Just have 11 minutes, probably took you like 15. Yeah. Hey, something's coming from above. Wow. This is the boss now. Of course, like the insects you are. Target mode engaged. Let's chase down side. that enemy ship. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm in kind of a different mode. This one wasn't in Star Fox 64. Now I'm kind of like... It's a third person view like before, but I can't... I'm not behind my ship. So it's much easier to switch to this. And do like you're doing ground fighting. And fuck these guys up. Yeah. And the cool part about this boss battle, you can go inside the switch. Go inside and I switch to now I'm the chicken walker. That is so awesome. I could just imagine if they had something like this back then. Boom! And you just transform and fly out of there. Beautiful! Well, try to fly out of there for a little bit. Yeah. It's like some Star Wars stuff. Except you probably died in there. Probably yeah. died. Oh, there I am. I'm fine. <laughs> that's fairly quick. So that's the new version of Corneria. Got the mission accomplished. Say, it, was, it was intense. A lot different, right? Yeah. We're heading out. It's not as jumbled. All aircraft report. It's a lot clearer what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. You just fly around aimlessly. You did it! That was a close one. You're becoming more like your father. Thanks for bringing up my dead father, Peppy.
Sixty-four hits, sixty-seven hits, and thirteen hits. Almost New silver ranking. Three hundred stuff. You're twenty-seven away. Yeah, I've played this level like eighty times. You never <laughs> Still ever haven't ever. got it. No, nope. was this the closest you've been? I guess. Yeah, I got second. I got a new. Have you never even gotten ranking. silver? I've gotten silver before, but never this high. Not like sure. every time, this is the highest. Too, so every time, yeah, every time you set a new record for yourself, it goes up. Oh. All right, so next, let's. Uh, I want to turn off this amiibo so we can check out Star Fox or Fox McCloud amiibo. Oh, that's pretty cool. And now we get the classic R wing. First time I've seen. Like I've been with you to go buy these. A bunch of times, this is the first time I've actually seen them, like how you set it and use it. Yeah. I'm not very familiar with these. And they work on the on the new 3DS, too. Where do you touch it to the... The bottom screen. You just put it right on the screen, a little and it's just it like what I just did. Wow. So now let's check out Sector Alpha. Corneria is safe thanks to you, Star Fox. But there's no time to relax. An enemy fleet is approaching, and we need you on the front line. He doesn't seem very Understood. concerned. <laughs> Not really. Just like, go ahead and get him in. Yeah. Oh, you, you can't see him wagging his tail, so you can't tell yeah. what emotion he has. Just, his eyes are very good. <laughs> What's up to you, Star Fox? Like, we're all gonna die, don't worry about it. Just have fun. I'm gonna go eat a biscuit. <laughs> go take a shit in the corner. Get in there, and provide backup. So now we're in the R wings from the original Star Fox on Super Nintendo. Yeah. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Yeah, yeah, that, that, is, that was all we said. Do a Dude, even now on the internet, <laughs> it's like <laughs> everywhere. It's funny coming up with all this stuff. Like all, all these one liners we use, you forget where they come from. But like hear that again. I was watching you earlier doing barrel rolls. I wanted to say it, but I had a feeling it was gonna come up. Like do a barrel roll. That's so funny. There's been Star Fox games since uh, Star Fox 64 where they first said that. Actually, they might have said that in Super Nintendo one first. You can stick with but, it. Yeah, that <laughs> one really stuck. <laughs> and you know the guy who came up with it is like, yeah, like some VP of something at Nintendo now probably. For that one, one little catchphrase. Like, oh, you're you're uh, remember that one? the guy who came up with <laughs> Bill Brown. Like we're just sitting in, oh we're just God. sitting around the table like coming up with the the audio for this game and some guy just perked up and said we should hey we should say do a barrel roll <laughs> yeah. what if we tell him to do a barrel roll <laughs> stick with me now <laughs> uh that's actually called an aileron roll shut up steve <laughs> oh that's great he dicks you giant laser shooting wah how long is this level uh eight minutes, seven minutes eight minutes or so not bad. This always cool and it's all retro and shit, but your charge shots don't lock on with this one. So you just kind of have to point and spray. Yeah, I gotta point every single shot. Get a spray and play. I can still use charge shots, but unless I aim it perfectly, it doesn't hit dick. <laughs> can you tell that my laser's upgraded? A little bit. They just <laughs> they make a different noise now. <laughs> they look like diamonds. You just shot look like, what looked like a star. Yeah. So at this point, I could lock on to Pigma, who has just came out from behind me. Looks and that like would take me on an alternate path. That would take me to a different version of the level. But you, would you still have to come back to this? No, actually. It, it, it gives you the complete for this level. So why wouldn't you do that? Well, <laughs> I want a longer play for this, right. since we're doing the video. I love how you're and playing a paper origami play. <laughs> yeah, right? But come on, 2016, you couldn't come up with any better than that. <laughs> I mean, even the guys you're destroying, they look more badass than yours. Yeah, they do. But this one can still transform, even though it couldn't really transform. transform into a rabbit. I transform into the walker, but I'm in space. Oh, I'm the walker? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really do much. But uh, it doesn't really help me that much. You can bounce off a ship faster. I can fall through space for some reason. I don't know why. You can fall. I can, like, there's gravity. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. 
Eat my dicks! How are you walking like that? Why are you now, I'm, now I'm in a spaceship that assumedly has false gravity. So it's spinning, that means. I, oh, I don't know. Well, it's the only way to create gravity. It's, it's is space spin. magic, okay? Uh, I I don't it. question space magic. I guess if I'm more concerned about how there's gravity in this kind of gameplay where there's walking or gummy planes. <laughs> We kind of ran out of polygons when we were making this ship, so... Again, how, how how many people do you think were sitting around when they were coming up with this game with these graphics? Like, we should make this guy a walking paper chicken <laughs> in but space. Retro is kind of a popular thing in gaming, now at least. Yeah. So I can see why they put it in here. Oh fuck, I forgot about those guys. Go, Green! But I forgot what I was going to say, so I'm just going to shut up. It's kind of hard to talk in a giant, what it looked like. I don't even know what to call those. They look like, like pills to me. Are, the, are you talking about those lasers? Yeah, the lasers. Yeah, like, like in a glass tube, like I don't know how that can work. Tube lasers! So it's like something the fucking Power Rangers bosses living in. <laughs> Like Ivan Ooze. <laughs> well, he was in more like an egg. Yeah, which still, you know, I don't know how that was terrifying. You know, all you had to do was walk up and break it. Like, all you had to do was take that egg out of the ground, pretty much, and it woke up. Maybe, like, all the dirt was holding it shut. But they hit him with a shovel. <laughs> 31 hits. 31 hit combo! Another cock ring. <laughs> you can tell that I've played through all these levels a bunch of times. Yeah. Gotta get good before you go on YouTube. If you suck, people give you bad comments. It's true. And I'm sure I'm gonna get tons of bad comments anyway. We still have all those fucking kids, like, the ones that talk shit when they're playing games, like, you faggot! <laughs> yeah. Thanks, I'm playing a game. Thanks, I'm, pal. You know, uh, holding a conversation <laughs> and playing this game is super easy, by the way. This must be the power we'll have to deal with some fucking eight year old bullshit. We should do this the easy way. Bomb. Bomb. Doesn't look like he's doing much. That's your bomb. Bomb. Yeah, yeah. now you gotta fly out of there before you blow up a... <laughs> this should give you a chance to fly out. There should be at least another, like, half a minute where you fly out. Yeah. Cause, Maybe like, I should start leaving pretty... timed bombs in these things so I don't explode the crap out of myself. We learned nothing from Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. They had to haul ass out of that Death Star. Uh. All crap, check in. I wish you would die. <laughs> we took care of the rest while you were gone. Good, uh, good input there, Slip. <laughs> Slippy. Thanks a lot, Slip. You, uh, you really nailed the, the tone there. What's the other thing I never got with you? Why are there a bunch of different animals in space? I don't know. Like, what was the premise behind that? I don't know. Maybe I it's never like... questioned it when I was younger. I was just like, cool, a frog, a bird, a fox. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe and a like, dog or in space. Like, did somebody open a pet shop and they all got out? <laughs> How does that work? Maybe, my theory is maybe Corneria is like Earth in the future. Like, all the humans what, have just animals? dipped out. And yeah, all the animals kind of evolved in that time. And so, they all evolved at the same rate. They're all so the same level. So, they basically just evol evolved to talk. Yeah. Nothing, you know, useful like thumbs. They can talk, and anything. apparently they can build and pilot our wings now. So, that's been the first two levels of Star Fox Zero. I'm Rasta Joe, and with me today again is... Pat. You can check him out on his channel, One Bad Goat. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and leave us a comment. Thank you for checking out Turbo Thumbs.